Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, Biden and his administration has just been struck by a dire warning from both Putin and Xi Jinping of China. Right now, these two nuclear powerheads have teamed up against the United States and are warning Biden to stay out of both Taiwan and Ukraine. Now, before I get into the report, just a quick reminder, please don't forget to check out restrictedrepublic.com. Right now, we have an amazing special of 24 Four months at $5 a month. If you really want the inside information of what's going on and you want to support what we do here, obviously I've been unmonetized by YouTube. Check me out at restrictedrepublic.com and get the real news. Use the code freedom to get it for $5 for two full years. All right, so let's dive into this team up between Russia and Xi Jinping. Take a look here at this first article, and this is on AmericanMilitaryNews.com. Now, this article was published back in December 2020, but the reason that I want to bring it to your attention is because this is uh, their alliance that is basically blossoming as we go along, and now we've got tensions that are rising between the two countries, but here it is. AmericanMilitaryNews.com. Xi and Putin commit to joint China-Russia partnership after Biden calls for world to combat China. The article goes on hours after the president-elect Joe Biden called for nations to challenge China on a range of trade abuses and human rights violation. The Chinese leader Xi Jinping and Russia's President Vladimir Putin on Monday said their respective countries have reached the highest level of cooperation and those ties cannot be affected by external pressure. According to the Kremlin press statement of a phone call between the two, the two reaffirmed their share shared intention to further promote cooperation on all areas. Chinese media outlets describe the China-Russia ties as unwavering. And according to the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs statement on the call, Yi said China-Russia ties can resist any attempt to suppress and divide the two countries and meanwhile forge a solid shield to safeguard international fairness and justice. Now that was uh, back in December, but just to show you a little bit of what they've been doing since since then, uh, take a look at this article here, and this is again on American Military News. And this was published uh, later on in December, but it's Russia releases video of Russian and Chinese bombers flying together. Now you can see that they're obviously doing joint drills as well. Now fast forward to today and we run on this article and this is on AmericanMilitaryNews.com. Russia and China warn Biden at the same time to stay out of both Ukraine and Taiwan. Again, this is a nuclear power team up against Biden and his administration threatening us here in the U.S. that if we get involved in their uh, politics or what's going on with Ukraine and Taiwan, then there could be consequences. But here's what the article goes on to state. On Tuesday, Russia's deputy foreign minister, Sergei, warned President Joe Biden's administration against getting involved in Ukraine amid Russian forces massing on the Ukraine border. Also on Tuesday, the Chinese foreign minister spokesman uh, warned the Biden administration against getting involved in Taiwan. These are two warnings from two powerheads that have teamed up. According to Reuters, Russia said the U.S. is our adversary and does everything it can to undermine Russia's position on the world stage. We do not see any other elements in their approach. These are our conclusions. The article goes on that Russia went on to say, we warn the United States that it will be better for them to stay far away from Crimea and our Black Sea coast it will be for their own good. Then again, on the very same day uh, that Russia warned the U.S. and other NATO nations against supporting Ukraine, China warned the U.S. against playing with fire by interacting with Taiwan. The Taiwan questions concern China's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and core interests. There is zero room for compromise and not an inch to give, China said during a Tuesday press conference. We urge the U.S. side to grasp the situation and earnestly abide by the one child principle and, of course, the three China-U.S. joint thing there. Refrain from playing with fire, he says. Immediately stop official contact with Taiwan in any form. Prudently, properly handle Taiwan-related issues and avoid sending any wrong signals to the Taiwan Independent Forces. Least it should shake the foundation, they say, of U.S. Chinese relationships and peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. This is very 
important news because here again like I stated before we have some of the biggest nuclear holders in the world US being one of them Russia and China being more of those who are now we're now seeing action against we're literally getting threats by both of these powerhouses at the same time and told to stay out of the situation in both Taiwan and Ukraine so what is the United States doing in regards to both well let me take you to first um <clears throat> this Politico article, and this is uh, on Politico.com. Biden warns China and Russia about military action. However, it says he stopped short of promising the U.S. would intervene if they did launch invasions. So this is kind of a warning as well to both Russia and China there. Uh, But the article goes on to state this. The Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, on Sunday said it would be a serious mistake for China to strike at Taiwan and expressed real concerns about Russia massing of forces on the border with Ukraine. In addressing concerns about America as two great Cold War rivals, Blinken stopped short of promising U.S. military intervention. I'm not going to get into hypotheticals, he said, but he did vow that there would be consequences if something did transpire between Russia and Ukraine and China and Taiwan. But he goes on in the article and he says this, um, speaking to the host, Chuck Todd on NBC's Meet the Press, Blinken said of the Chinese belligerents toward Taiwan, we have committed to Taiwan under the Taiwan Relations Act, a bipartisan commitment that existed for many years to make sure that Taiwan has the ability to defend itself and to make sure that we're sus- sustaining peace and security in the Western Pacific. We stand behind all those commitments. And I can tell you, uh, and all I can tell you is it would be a serious mistake for anyone to try to change the existing static status quo by force. And then in conclusion, he also added, President Biden is very clear about this. If Russia acts recklessly or aggressively, there will be costs and there will be consequences, consequences. So now we have threats coming from both sides. We have uh, China and Russia teaming up against the US, Ukraine, and uh, Taiwan there. Uh, But we also have threats being issued from both sides. All right, then to top it off, Uh, the United States of America, in response to everything that China has just warned us on, issued new guidelines, right, uh, for interactions with Taiwan. And here it is. And this is on the U.S. Department of Justice, the new guidelines for the U.S. government interactions with Taiwan. You can see the date here on April 9th uh, and and the guidelines. And it just simply... um, how underscores how important their democracy is and their security is and their economy is. So it basically just reestablishes those guidelines with Taiwan. So this is very serious moves by the U.S. And in response to all of that, we now have Russia calling us our their adversary. Uh, Take a look at this article here, and this is Reuters.com. Russia calls U.S. an adversary, warns its warships to avoid Crimea. Russia on Tuesday called the U.S. an adversary and told U.S. warships to stay away from Crimea for their own good, calling their deployment in the Black Sea a provocation designed to test Russian nerves. So as you can see, tensions are very, very high right now between all the countries. Uh, In fact, there was also a statement issued, and this is on the government UK, uh, that the G7 foreign ministers, this is a statement uh, that Ukraine published, but a statement from the foreign ministers of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, and the UK, and the US, and the high representative of the EU had this to say about what was going on. And it says this, the large scale troop movements without prior notification represent threatening and destabilizing activity. We call on Russia to stop its provocations and to immediately de-escalate tensions in line with its international obligations, right? So basically, uh, they want transparency from Russia. They want this this buildup of the military around the Ukraine border to stop. And this is being called for by multiple countries here who was who were involved in this G7 foreign ministries statement. Uh, but lots of things are happening. As you know, I've been sharing reports about the military buildup with Russia, about what's going on in Ukraine. And now we even have threats coming uh, from the 
from China in regards to Taiwan. But bottom line, uh, World War III seems to be teetering more and more and more on the brink and, and seems to be escalating. The threats are getting worse. They're not getting better. Uh, and as you can see, there's been statements made and threats made from both sides. And that's why I think it's important for you to know, especially with the underlining fact that we're all, uh, that, that Ch China, Russia and the United States are nu nuclear powerheads. Uh, and and uh, that's never a good sign. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go into war. I don't want to go into World War III. We already have enough chaos with cancel culture, the COVID-19 pandemic, and our economic devastation that has landed at our feet. Uh, but obviously, we're living in the end times spoken of by Bible prophecy, if you will. And we're hearing wars and rumors of wars. We're seeing things happen right in front of our eyes. Uh, but anyhow, wanted to give you a heads up about about all of this tension. With that, uh, please don't forget to check out my partner. If you don't have a VPN, now is uh, the time to get a VPN. Uh, but as you can see, you can get it right now for 50% off for life with a 30-day free trial at hidewithlisa.com. A VPN is super important. If you don't have one, you really should. You really should uh, because it really hides those uh, DDoS attacks and hack, uh, hack attacks that you get on your computer. I will not uh, use my phone without it. So check it out at hidewithlisa.com. Com. Anyhow, I love all of you. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Follow me on BitChute and Rumble. I'm there as well. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.